What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the LG 38WN95C-W. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all around this beautiful 38 inch ultra wide monitor, so let's get it. First thing you're going to notice is a slight and subtle curvature that wraps this ultra wide nano IPS display. You get a QHD plus resolution of 3840 by 1600 with Visa display HDR 600, which makes this display nice and bright. One of the biggest selling points of this monitor is its Thunderbolt 3 connectivity, which offers data transfers and power delivery up to 94 watts, which is perfect for connecting your MacBooks or USB-C laptops using just one USB-C cable. A feature that surprises me about this 30-inch LG monitor is that it is NVIDIA G-Sync compatible for enhanced gaming performance. I mean, this isn't labeled as a gaming monitor at all, but with a one millisecond response time and a fast 144 hertz refresh rate this might be the best all-in-one monitor that can do it all this monitor ain't cheap with a retail price of about 1600 dollars so it's really pricey so i want to know if this ultra wide monitor is worth getting for your desk setup now first i want to give you guys a quick unboxing experience of this lg 38 wn95c-w and when you get a moment hit that subscribe button and help me get to 10,000 subscribers I appreciate all of you guys. And by the way, the dash W at the end of the model name means that it's white, LOL. So going forward, I'll shorten it to WN95C since we already know this monitor is 38 inches long. Now the accessories that we get inside the box is gonna be a DisplayPort cable, which surprisingly says 5K on it. Then we're gonna have a nice white HDMI cable as well. Then we have a nice long and thick USB-C cable, which I fell miserably to autofocus. And here we have the power adapter which is large by itself, but at least it's not inside the actual monitor, which saves some weight. Installing the monitor stand is very easy, but I will highly recommend getting a monitor arm, which I'll show you guys later on in this video. But for now, I do love how LG makes installing the stand toolless. Just snap in the monitor stand on the back and then take the bottom feet, line it up, and using the wingtip screws, you just basically tighten it with just your hands. Now let's talk about the design of this monitor. It doesn't really have any wow factors, but I do like the white back with the silver stand. It definitely doesn't screen gamer with no RGB lighting anywhere, which is a great thing if you're looking for a monitor that is more subtle or professional. The ergonomics of the stand features a good amount of height adjustability, tilt and swivel, which is more than enough to find a comfortable viewing experience. You won't be able to pivot the monitor, so if you wanted this to be vertical, you would definitely need to get a monitor arm. Now I have this beautiful High Star Triple XL mouse pad, but because of the stand, I would have to have it overlap, which I don't want. The larger the display usually means larger stands, and the desk that I use is a Vivo height adjustable desk that is 71 inches wide and 30 inches deep. I measured the back of the base to the tip of the feet, and I got about 11 inches with 21 inches of space in between the feet, which was surprisingly enough to place my Razer Leviathan soundbar in between. But save yourself the trouble and get yourself a nice monitor arm like this AVLT monitor arm. The monitor by itself weighs 14.2 pounds, so you can even find many monitor arms that will support this weight. And damn, it looks so good floating in the air. Anyone who disagrees, meet me in the comment section. Now let's talk about the input selection you get here, which I have to say is impressive. You get your standard display port, which I'm currently using, plus two HDMI ports, two USB-A ports, and the star of this monitor, the USB-C ports that triples up for video, audio, and power delivery up to 94 watts. Oh, and let's not forget that headphone jack on the back as well. All right, now let's dim the lights off and appreciate this gorgeous display. Let me remind you guys that you're getting a nice 3840 by 1600 resolution, which in my opinion is so much better than 1440p because of that extra vertical space. At 38 inches of screen space, you get a PPI density of about 109 pixels per inch, which makes viewing text and small details nice and sharp, although personally, I would have preferred an even higher resolution. LG's Nano IPS technology really elevates the viewing experience, which LG says uses nanometer-sized particles, enhancing the intensity and purity of on-screen colors while achieving one millisecond response times. With a 98% DCI-P3 color gamut coverage, the colors on his monitor are really nice and vibrant. I'm also really happy to report that the brightness on this monitor is great with 450 nits of brightness and it also meets Visa Display HDR 600 and this is great for using in very bright environments. It even features automatic brightness control but can't really say I'm a huge fan. 
I prefer having a set brightness level. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the biggest hidden features is NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility. So I wanna test out the gaming performance with my gaming PC equipped with an RTX 4090 and an AMD Ryzen 9 7900X. All PC specs will be listed down below, so make sure you guys check that out. Modern Warfare 2 on this monitor is straight up fire. The WN95C has a refresh rate of 144Hz and a 1 millisecond response time which makes this a solid gaming option. The QHD Plus resolution is not too demanding and I was averaging frames way above 144 frames per second with OBS running in the background to capture this footage. Playing on this chaotic shipment map requires a monitor to keep up with all this crazy action going on and this monitor did not disappoint. It's not as great as OLED, but for an ultra-wide nano IPS monitor, I can see myself enjoying multiple gaming sessions. The aspect ratio of 21 by 9 for me personally is a great sweet spot to enjoy immersive gameplay. I wouldn't say it's the best for competitive play when it comes to first person shooters, but you can definitely still slap with this. For other types of games, I love ultra wide for giving you extra scenery and a wider field of view. This 38 inch LG ultra wide monitor has additional gaming support with AMD FreeSync Premium Pro. So even if you don't have an Nvidia graphics card for G-Sync, you still get the benefits for better input latency, screen tearing and refresh rates. I haven't had any issues testing this monitor with games like Mono for 2, Forza Horizon 5 or Diablo 4, which I don't even know if people still play this. Now for HDR gaming, the footage I thought I recorded is nowhere to be found unfortunately, so I apologize for that. For the time that I tested it out, it was a decent experience and I like how bright it gets. It's great to see monitors having built-in speakers and the ones on this WN95C are pretty good for a monitor. What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the LG 32 inch Ultra Gear Gaming Monitor. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all around this beautiful 4K monitor, so let's get it. Now LG says you get a rich bass experience, which I think they're overhyping these speakers, but it is still better than a lot of other monitor speakers. You get two stereo speakers at five watts each, so I'm happy that they don't completely suck. Now a very important aspect for me for a monitor to be good is how well it boosts my productivity. Being a content creator that does everything from filming and editing, I need a monitor that makes it both easier and better. I use DaVinci Resolve for editing my content and I'm happy to say that with a large 38 inch display and that extra vertical resolution of 1600, it really makes this a productivity workhorse. Had this monitor been a 3840 by 1440, it wouldn't have been as great because trust me guys, that extra 160 vertical pixels help out tremendously. The 21 by 9 ultra wide aspect ratio gives you so much space to see it all. You get a decently sized preview window, an amazing timeline view, and all your tools and effects are comfortably available to you. It beats using two monitors side by side. Now, if you have a MacBook or laptop, you will be very pleased with the addition of Thunderbolt 3 connectivity, which supports 40 gigabits per second and a power delivery of up to 94 watts using just one single compatible USB-C cable. You can use the Thunderbolt cable included in the box or any other Thunderbolt 3 cable or higher to maximize the benefits this monitor has to offer. Using my M2 MacBook Air is very easy to set up. Once you connect the cable to the monitor, You'll get prompted on the LG monitor to switch to Thunderbolt input and also on your Mac. You'll see a nice charging indicator which is awesome knowing you wouldn't have to provide a separate charger. Just keep in mind for larger laptops that draw a lot more power, you might see the battery percentage not increase or even decrease depending on the intensity of apps and programs you're throwing at it. Using USB-C will support the highest refresh rate and resolution even on the MacBook Air which is a huge plus. This monitor also supports picture by picture with a 50-50 window split. 
The only issue I have had with this feature is that if you're using DisplayPort or Thunderbolt, you're only going to be able to share an input with only HDMI. I was pretty sad that I couldn't show you both the MacBook Air and my gaming PC side by side, and I completely forgot that I could have at least connected my PS5. Either way, picture by picture isn't a feature I would use anyway, but I do know that some of you guys do appreciate that feature, so it's good that LG included this in this monitor. So finally to the biggest question, is the LG 38WN95C-W a monitor worth getting with a premium retail price of $1,600? Well, my answer would be almost. One important factor is because this monitor was released in 2020, so with it being three years old, you should be able to find a great deal or promotion on this monitor. I think if you could get this monitor discounted by three to $500 off, then it would be a great deal and I would highly recommend this monitor since you're getting an amazing productive ultra wide monitor that has great gaming performance and Thunderbolt 3 connectivity. This video is not sponsored by LG whatsoever, but if you are interested in this monitor, I do have a link in the description along with my desk setup. I do get a small commission rate and I greatly appreciate you guys using my affiliate links as it helps support the Firewolf Tech channel. I really hope you guys enjoy this review and it would mean a lot to me if you guys support my small channel by liking and subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.